Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time watching me, welcome. This is the video for my empties for the month of May 2024. At the beginning of May when I did my chop and chat that was teddy bees only, I made it a goal of mine to melt exclusively teddy bees. And I did succeed with that. I do have a handful of things here that are not teddy bees, but things I just had to, you know, I wanted to work through, things I wanted to melt, and just a handful of things that were not teddy bees. Um, I also have a few candles, some soaps, and a couple wildflowers to talk about too. Um, I am currently working on June, um, and the June vendors I am melting exclusively are Dessa's Homespun Scents and lavender and speckles. So at the end of June, I will review everything I've gotten through for June. Um, I'm going to be going away for a few weeks, uh, excuse me, for a few days next week. So I won't be warming um, for four days of the month, but I have gotten through a lot of lavender and speckles and dessas. I actually don't really have a lot of dessas left because I've just been enjoying and warming her stuff, you know, continuously. So let's go ahead and do the non- um, non-vendor items first, and then we'll get into the vendors. So, I'm um, happy Saturday, everyone. Uh, it's Saturday afternoon. My husband played in his very first golf tournament, an official tournament today. Um, all the other tournaments he's played in has been, uh, you know, for fun or for, um, you know, groups he's in or activities and such. This is the Art City Amateur, which is the city of Springville, Utah, uh, at their golf course, Hobble Creek Golf Course, the course that my husband grew up near. Um, and he shot a 92 today, which for him is pretty good. Um, but he would like to play a little bit better tomorrow. There's a, It's a two-parter. Two so I got up this morning Went to Walmart, had to take some cheese back. My husband grabbed the wrong type of string cheese uh, yesterday. So I went and I got that early this morning before the crowds uh, kicked in and grabbed a couple of other things uh, to take with us on our, on our road trip this coming week. Um, but let's go ahead and get into some soaps. Let's do the soaps first. Okay, as most of you know, if you watch my empties videos, I do periodically talk about Bath & Body Works soaps, candles, and wallflowers. And you guys will remember, I am not shopping at Bath & Body Works. You'll be very proud of me. I had a cart full. The other day, they had $2.99. It's a semi-annual sale right now. The other day, they had $2.99 select soaps and select wallflowers and I had a cart loaded and I was in the checkout and I was thinking do I really want to do this because I only have a couple of spring and summer um, wallflowers and soaps but I really wanted to challenge myself and um, really just see how long will I take to use what I currently have so I didn't buy I didn't check out I was stayed strong and I'm not afraid to do hard things uh, and it was hard but I thought about you know other things that I could do with with those that money and I really wanted to see uh, how far my my soap collection which I've made quite a dent in and my wallflowers um, uh, will take me but I do give my mom wallflowers and soaps so uh, we'll see how long it takes me to get through some things so if you see me talking about Christmas and fall candles and soaps that's why I have the majority of those uh, those um, types of scents in my collection first one talk about soap this is fresh balsam this is of course one of their most popular Christmas scents or holiday scents I had this down in my kitchen uh, these notes here woodland balsam crisp eucalyptus and cedar wood so this one you either like it or you don't like it it is pine it has a little bit of woodsy from the cedar in it I liked this I have another bottle or two of this soap from you know through the years uh, but actually I um, I grabbed this. I didn't mean to grab it and I wasn't sure I wanted to use it, but I just left it at my kitchen sink and didn't feel like changing the bottle out. So that's why I used fresh balsam. I was gonna, you know, it's a little too, a little too piney for me right now in the middle of summer, but it's okay. It, it served its purpose. I like this scent. It's been around forever. This next one is almond blossom. Almond Blossom, I had this one in my master bathroom. The notes of this one, almond milk, coriander, and vanilla sugar. This one was different. Different as in, I don't really even know how to describe this one to you. It isn't vanilla. It isn't coriander. It isn't almond milk. 
It's a weird type of floral. Of course, almond blossom is going to have floral in it, but it's 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 a floral I can't quite put my finger on. Um, I love almond. I love almond blossom, whether it's the it's creamy or it has a little bit of nutty to it. I've had almond um, from Bath and Body Works. I think it's a retired fragrance now, almond or almond almond blossom actually, and it doesn't smell like this. So. Um, I loved the aesthetic of the bottle here for my bathroom upstairs. That's why I um, I grabbed this one. But would I buy this one again? No, because it's just, um, there are ones I like a lot better than this one. Next, this was, uh, I actually had this in my bathroom, uh, my master bathroom also. This is Pink Pineapple Sunrise, one of the few summer scents I have. I think I got this one last year. This one is a new fragrance, I believe, uh, the, uh, uh, last year at least. Uh, this one came back because I had this one in my cart the other day, but we didn't buy. Uh, the notes of this one are sweet pink pineapple, palm nectar, and sun-drenched, um, excuse me, sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. And this is the, this is the line um, before they started. This is one of the newer ones where they start making it without sulfates, parabens, and dyes. Uh, this one, same, because this one was from last year. This one is uh, earlier last year before they changed their formula to, you know, be a little bit better. Uh, so this one was colored pink. I absolutely love this one. I do like a lot of pineapple. I like a lot of pineapple scents in candles and in soaps and home fragrances. Uh, sometimes a lot of vendor wax, the pineapple can be a little bit too sharp. And I haven't quite found one I, I liked a lot, although this combination of pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. It kind of would be, in my opinion, pretty hard to dupe with a vendor, you know, say for a custom, because we don't know quite what palm sugar is and what sun-drenched nectar is. Uh, just to tone that pineapple down, because was, this was very creamy, very summery-like. I would definitely buy this one again, and I love the pink. My bathroom, um, my ba master bath and bedroom are gray, white, pink, and, uh, and, and a little bit of black, or gray, I should say, not black, gray. So uh, actually gray, white, pink, gray, white, and pink are the main three colors. But I love this one. This one is definitely a repurchase. And this last one is one of my top favorite fall blends. This is white pumpkin. Uh, white pumpkin, I got this either last year or the year before, and I could only find them in then the gentle hand uh, gel. This is the, the gel, and these last three I talked about, of course, are the foaming. I prefer foaming. My husband does too because he uses this to clean his glasses in addition to his hands, and he likes how the foam is just gentle on his glasses. Uh, but I love this scent. This is one of my favorites. I will always have this in my home. In fact, when I see fall soaps starting to come out, I am going to make an exception and buy me some more white pumpkin because this is just, it's great for all year round. Of course, I had the sound in my kitchen, um, balsam, and this one was in my kitchen and almond and pineapple were in my bathroom upstairs. Um, the, my, my guest bathroom has, um, dazzling nights in it. It was, it was two or three Christmases ago. It's, I don't even remember all the notes of it, but it was the same time that, um, what's the one, uh, Moscow Mule, you remember that one um I, it was something moscow mule uh when that one was out kind of like their their new year's eve line that was from that collection uh white pumpkin it's it these notes are gingered white pumpkin caramel glaze and blended spices this is just a nice semi spicy pumpkin and i absolutely adore this scent definite repurchase for me the wallflowers I've used, uh, this first one is downstairs in my uh, dining room area. This is Honeysuckle and Peach Spritz, one of the few summer ones I have. But I figure, hey, it's time, it's June, uh, summer is officially here in a couple of weeks. So this one here is Honeysuckle Blooms, Juicy Peaches, and Orange Zest. And I can smell whiffs of this downstairs, but I'm really going to have to turn off my warmers downstairs because I have them on most of my waking hours to really see what is this going to do because I always I think I don't think about turning my warmers off to really smell this uh, but I'll let you know um, if I would buy this one again because I love honeysuckle and I love peach and I'm just interested to see how this combination plays I actually just put this one downstairs this morning I didn't want to wait and talk about it. I just have two here so I just threw this one in here for 
uh, you know, just review purposes. Uh, so I'll let you know later on how that, how that one does if I remember. And this last one here is Comfort Vanilla and Patchouli. This was from their uh, aromatherapy line. This is in the warm and comforting um, category. And this one does not have a category on it. It's probably in the fresh and fruity or the fun and fruity category, if I had to guess. Um, this is an enhanced fragrance. It's actually right back here. In the wallflower plug I have, well, the plug, you can't see it on the camera here, but the, the plug that I have behind me is where I have this. And, you know, sitting down here in a close vicinity to it, I can smell it, but this is basically scentless, which really, really, really irks me because I absolutely love this scent. This is just simply patchouli and vanilla. Um, it's made with sandalwood oil, patchouli oil, promotes inner strength, and creates a sense of harmony. This is the aromatherapy line, of course. Um, I can't smell it, guys, and uh, it's it it really upsets me because I it's like, that's such a beautiful fragrance. If you've ever used it in body care, they used to have it in the hand creams back in the day when I used the hand creams, but um, you know can't win them all, I guess. I'm on my never-ending quest to find the absolute perfect wallflower. On that short list is um, um, springtime in Paris, which is a which is a spring scent, which I didn't buy this year even though they brought it back it's a beautiful fragrance pumpkin pecan waffles um sugared snickerdoodle and um there's a couple more on my list but i can't remember it, it's it's less than 10. okay let's do the candles and then we'll get into the wax okay this first one here um i used all of these downstairs in my candle crock downstairs on my open concept level in my kitchen uh, dining room living room area this first one is one that i absolutely loved at the time this is peppermint sugar cookie this one was poured in 2020 so this one's four years old and this was the first year that this candle came out if you guys remember this one was i, I probably have six more of these candles i absolutely love this scent um this is crushed peppermint vanilla extract creamy butter and soft sugar cookies so i have i warmed this one exclusively in my candle crock i did not like this one but the ones i've used previously that i that i you know just before I started doing my channel and talking about candles, um, I've, I've lit them and burned them down to the end. And I will personally say in my home, this candle performed much better lit than it did in my candle crock. I had to be right around my candle crock close, kind of like I'm in the vicinity here, close, close quarters to really smell this one. But this one is such a creamy, nice peppermint. It's it's not too knock you down peppermint. It's not candy cane. It's not, it, it's, it's not quite as sweet sugary as that because it does have the creamy aspect of that butter and that sugar cookie. I would guess um, this one is going to be coming back for Christmas because it's been back every year. I think it's, it's a good seller for them and it's, it's a nice, um, creamy comforting scent um, i've already seen some sneak peeks of the fall collection it's going to be coming up pretty soon um uh you know the sneak peeks in the bath and body works groups that i actually I, I like to see because i probably will buy some soaps in the fall and christmas time for gifts and for my mom and such um I, I, I'm divorced for the most part from Bath and Body Works, but I, I can't say I won't ever go back and have a fling. <laughs> okay, this next one was a very popular candle recently. Uh, this one is Raspberry Thumbprint. This one um, was poured, uh, this is 2023's. This is blueberry short, excuse me, not blueberry, buttery shortbread, rich raspberry jam sprinkled with powdered sugar. So basically... If you've ever smelled from a few years ago their wildberry jam donut, uh, that has the, the the powdered donut aspect to it, whereas this is the shortbread. But the raspberry was pretty, even though that's wildberry and raspberry, I still have a wildberry jam donut. Actually, it's in my it's in my on deck section of candles I'm gonna take downstairs. I need to take another batch downstairs and, and warm them. Um I actually prefer Wildberry Jam Donut over Raspberry Thumbprint. I know a lot of you out there like this candle. Um, Christy Hartshorn actually loves this candle. And I and I got this one last year because of her. And it's nice. I could smell it downstairs 
The raspberry is slightly tart to my nose, but the creaminess of the shortbread and a little bit of that powdered sugar does come through. Would I repurchase this one? No, just because I, I like my Wildberry Jam Donut, and if I really want to buy it again, I'm sure it'll come back in some, either they repackage it and rename it like they're infamous for, or it'll come back at some point. So this is Raspberry Thumbprint. And this last one is one I've had before. This is Spiced Cardamom. This is one of my favorite warm, spicy blends that Bath & Body Works offers. This one was poured in 2021. This is Cinnamon Spiced Cardamom, Dark Cedar Wood, and a Pinch of Nutmeg. So uh, if you like cedar and cardamom and warm spices, this is a fall and winter candle. But I had this going downstairs because I love cardamom. I, I love chai. I love Indian food. And cardamom is used a lot in those two things. And it's just something that, that is, is slightly spicy and comforting. And it complements a lot of things, actually, in my opinion. Uh, this one performs like a dream. I would definitely buy this again. This one was in my warmer for about a week and I could smell it every day. Uh, how I put my candle in, I give it at least a full 24 hours, sometimes 36 hours to warm. Uh, it doesn't take that long to warm the whole thing, but just to give it a chance to, you know, permeate through the house with the air on and all that stuff. And if I can't smell it after 36 hours, I take it out and put in a new one. And when I can smell a blend and it starts to peter out and weaken, I take it out and put in a new one. This one was a full seven days because this is a strong, strong candle. I have previously used one of these and I lit and burnt the whole thing and it performs pretty linear. So that's all my non-vendor wax items. So pretty good, I would say, for, for, the, month of, for the month of May. Um... Okay, I'm going to do the non uh, Teddy Bees uh, first because I, you know, they're, they're just a handful here. Um, things that I, some of these you'll understand why I warm them because I, I can't go too long without some of my L3. And there's some L3 in here and um, just warming things that, um, first of all, um, to know which ones do I really want to request to come back. Um, Jen announced, I'll tell you this on here, uh, Jen announced her last... Her last pre-order is opening up on Monday, uh, June 10th, and I actually, after this video, or maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to do a video going through the entire L3 pre-order list because it's the last pre-order and it's got a lot of big guns on there, a lot of B-bars, a lot of heavy hitters, a lot of popular ones. And I've seen a lot of you guys asking questions in the group, how is this compared to this and what's this one about and stuff. So I thought, you know, just to give back to the L3 community, you know, more than I already have being, being a mod and answering questions and just, just absolutely loving every minute that I am helping uh, Jen and Trish and her team out. I thought I would, you know, do this one last time um, and just go down the list. And because I've had a lot, if not most of these oils that's being offered and most of these blends that are being offered. Um, I think I can help some of you guys out. I know there's some new ones, new newbies out there. Unfortunately, you found L3 at the tail end of her of her business uh, being open, but it's okay. You can have um, a little bit of love in your life and stock up, and then you can extend that however long you want to. Um, yeah, so here we go. This first one I want to talk about is Swanky. Uh, Swanky is owned by Jeannie Jeffrey from Washington, Silverdale, Washington, Bremerton, Washington, one of those places. Uh, Jeannie's working on the pre-order. I think it was the uh, Woodland the Woodland Ferry, I think, the Woodland Ferry pre-order uh, that was open a few weeks ago, the same weekend that Teddy Bee's was open for her pre-order. Um, I ordered a small order from, from Swanky, like I usually do. Uh, Jeannie offers a lot of good bath and body products that I enjoy, perfume oils. Um, I don't really remember what I purchased wax. Actually, that's not true. Um, I did purchase a bubble bath sampler and a sugared rose sampler. I absolutely cannot wait to get those blends. I purchased some sugared roses in the bath products and bubble bath in the bath products. And then I got a couple of other things. Um, Jeannie is my, my personal uh, supplier for perfumey, beautiful, um, 
complex fragrances. And previously, Sassy Girl Aroma was too, but you know, we all know Julie is working on coming back. So Swanky has been providing me um, Angel Share and a lot of the higher quality uh, products or Whispers in the Library different things that a lot of us have gravitated to, tobacco, vanille, all those things. So this first one here is a very popular blend. Um, this is Buttery Toast and Jam and Blueberry Waffle Cone. Um, Buttery Toast and Jam is a magnificent bakery fragrance that I haven't found in any other vendor out there. And Blueberry Waffle Cone is basically just there to give a little bit more of a fruity creaminess because Buttery Toast and Jam really is so strong at least to me, to my nose, uh, it overtakes a scent, but it's in a good way because buttery toast and jam is just so, you guys request it all the time. It was poured alone a couple of times ago, and I think this last time it was offered, I don't remember what it was offered with, but I know it's it's on her pre-order list every time in some blend. I love this one. I have this going downstairs in my open concept in my hot plate warmers, and this one I can still smell it in the bag because that buttery toast and jam is just incredible. Um, these were cute little cupcakes and little pedophores. These are the bakery bags, so she really does put put bakery items down in here. Sometimes there's shapes of little circles and little stars and such, but for the most part, Jeannie tries to keep it bakery little cute items. Um, buttery toast and jam, blueberry waffle cone. I don't have any more swanky. I don't think I do at least. Um, let's see what other vendors I have in here. Um, most of these are L3. Quite a few samples I put in, um, you know, just, I try to, I sometimes forget that I have samples and then when I get a new order that has samples, I put them in my sample and I'm like, oh man, I got to start using these because I'm, it's getting overloaded. But uh, this, this next vendor I want to talk about is Sweet Tooth Scents. This um, vendor is owned by, um, not vendor is owned by, <laughs> this business is owned by Heather Riddle from Michigan, I believe. Um, someplace in Michigan. I'm sorry if that's not the right state, but I think it's Michigan. This is Cardamom Woods. This was a snap bar that was the 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 seven-piece snap bars that a lot of vendors have the mold for and offer. Um, this was her Parasoy wax. Uh, she currently is just using her soy, um, her soy blend. Uh, she might change that in the future. I'm not sure. Uh, Heather's currently working on fulfilling her pre-order that she had from May, I believe. Um, I think it was in May. Yeah. Um, this, these notes are cardamom, saffron, bark, and sandalwood. So if you want to guess, I had this one going when I had my cardamom candle going. So I know that that candle, that cardamom is a deeper, rich cardamom. This one was a very nice, creamy addition to that, that sharper or stronger cardamom essence. Um, I didn't get too much saffron sandalwood this was pretty much just cardamom and creamy cardamom i like this blend i wish it was a little bit stronger um but i found i tried out um just one piece in each warmer and it really wasn't what i wanted it to be so i added in two and it did kick up the throw a little bit in my home so i think two will be what i have to use for for heather's wax maybe if i get my chopper out i will try one and a half pieces we'll see i'm still uh sweet tooth sense is still new to me um i've only ordered um once i think maybe twice once. I have a pre-order in and I have some exciting blends coming there. So I'm excited to see uh, how that vendor continues to perform in my home. So that's Sweet Tooth Scents. Next, I have one little Sassy Girl Aroma. This one was downstairs in my kitchen drawer that I actually forgot that I had in there. And this is one of my favorite blends. This is Godfather, which is her name for Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. This First of all, these were the little bricks that she offered. I don't remember how much these were or anything like that. Um, the notes that she describes this as is tobacco leaf, ginger spice, tonka bean, a cocoa, and fruity accord. But basically, if you smell tobacco vanille, it has a really creamy, sweet tobacco and a sophisticated vanilla presence. This is one of my favorite blends, whether it's offered by Julie or it's offered by L3, has a fantastic dupe oil for it, or Swanky, or... Um, 
I don't think I've smelled it from Teddy B's, but just some of the other vendors, this is one across the board that just is a home run in my opinion. This also lasts 12 to 15 hours, maybe even longer, just because this is a strong oil and those oils linger and it's just, it's an intoxicating fragrance. So this is uh, just um, one I will always have in my collection. I actually have a bottle of this perfume uh, that I get, I bought myself, um, well, last year, I think maybe for Christmas or something. I don't remember. Uh, I have several more of the brittle bars of this and a couple more bricks. So I, I have, um, I have more Godfather in my life. Okay. Next are L3s. So this first one is a scoop. I have probably over, over a hundred, maybe 130 scoops in my life. And I know that's a lot, but I love L3 scoops. I mean, first of all, you only need a little bit because the formula is different from her harder wax and the fragrance load is, is higher also. So an, only a little bit is needed. And depending, and depending on how strong the blend is, of course, there are some oils that are stronger than others. Like this next one I'm going to talk about. I might be able to get 15 uses out of a scoop. Sometimes I can get 12. Sometimes I can get 20. It just really depends on your home, your preference of what you want to get from that blend and the how your home uh, um, throws around scent. My home, I've, I said this uh, in one of my last videos, when my air is on or my heat is on, it actually exacerbates the scent around my home. It doesn't dull it or drown it out like some homes do. And I consider myself lucky in that regard because if I, if that was the case, I would have a really hard time um, getting appropriate throw in my home, I believe, just because of, you know, wall placements and drafts and all, and all sorts of things. But how I remedy that is I have some tea lights around my home, which really, really, really get hot. So, um, in the, the, the few times a year when I don't have heat or air on when it's comfortable, uh, kind of like between the, um, April, well, it snowed kind of late here in Utah. So my heat was on in the beginning of May, um, that, couple of week period between when I turn my heat off to when I turn my air on a few weeks ago uh, that period of time I have to use my tea light warmers quite a bit to get that to throw around my home so that's where my um, the current in my home the air or the heat helps me out this first one here is a super popular blend and I really think this blend either might be on the pre-order list or these oils are on the pre-orders list. But this is just a simple blend. This is Mrs. Claus's Cookies and Zucchini Bread. Mrs. Claus's Cookies is a single oil, and to my nose, it's similar to Vanilla Bean Noel, but with a little bit more bakery, a little bit more cookie creaminess. This Zucchini Bread is the star in this oil, of course. Um, that that Mrs. Claus's Cookies just gives a soft bakery creaminess to this blend. I absolutely love this. I have a ton of these scoops in my home and I love zucchini bread. So it was hard to not have zucchini bread going this whole entire month because of not having a lot of uh, Teddy B zucchini bread blends. I've used them all up. This next one I want to talk about is another similar one. This is cookies with the clauses and zucchini bread. So how this one differs, Cookies with the Clauses is a blend. It's a, it's a custom blend for Jen. It is Santa's on Keto, Mrs. Clauses Cookies, and Sugar Milk. So Santa's on Keto, there's, um, I don't remember the oils that are in, that's in that blend, but it, that's a blend in itself. But what I really smell with this one is I'm smelling... I think sugared shortbread is in here in some form and Santa's on keto, but I'm really getting that sugar milk and it really just gives an extra decadence to it. It's, mmm, it's so creamy. It's just, it's not sour smelling because that zucchini bread is there to just be, zucchini bread is old faithful to me. It's, it's, pers it's consistent. It's reliable. It always performs for me. So this one is fantastic, yummy, delicious. I have a lot of that one too. This next one is a little sample, um, North Pole Breakfast. Sometimes uh, there's handwritten labels with L3. North Pole Breakfast 
is actually really good. It has pumpkin pecan waffles in it, apple cider, and there's something else in it. I can't, I don't know if it's apple donuts or something like that. Uh, maple syrup, maybe. But just think of Buddy the Elf and how he loves maple syrup and his spaghetti for, for breakfast and all the sugar that he eats. Um, this is really good. It has a nice balance of that apple cider and that pumpkin pecan waffle. I'm going to request this one again to come back in an RTS because I actually forgot about requesting it in the past. I haven't been requesting a lot because I'm, you know, I don't need to because I've been getting UPS sized orders since Jen announced her closure. So, um, the, the, all you guys are requesting everything that I would want to request to. So North Pole Breakfast. Next, uh, Dreamweaver. Today is October 3rd. I know Dreamweaver is on the pre-order list, as is today is October 3rd. So Dreamweaver is lavender cream. Oh, man. Lavender cream. Oh, I just had it in my head the other day of what, uh, what, Dreamweaver is. I know it's lavender cream and fresh baked bread, but there's some cookie in the middle of it. Fr lavender cream, something, and fresh baked bread. But if you like lavender bakery, I would highly suggest you try Dreamweaver if you haven't already. It is one of my favorite lavender blends. I've been stocking up on it. Jen's offered it several times in loaves and larger sizes, scoops and whatnot. But blended with today is October 3rd, which is that Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Marshmallow. It just has the best of both worlds. You have that creamy lavender bakery, and then you have that today is October 3rd. So this one was fantastic. I've had this blend before. I just put this in my in my guest bathroom to to go with some of the lavender that I had going um, in other rooms. This next one is Fresh Picked Strawberries. This is on the list also. I believe it might be offered in bee bar size or loaves. I don't remember, but I remember seeing just Fresh Picked Strawberries. This is one of my favorite strawberries. There are three strawberry oils I like the most. Strawberry, Fresh Picked Strawberry, and Strawberry Jam. Fresh Picked Strawberry is the most realistic strawberry. It's kind of similar to Strawberry Seeds from Destination Wax, if you ever smell that one. This is just like, you know, go to the grocery store now, get a get a pound carton or a two pounder of strawberries. And when you are rinsing those off and if you just eat that strawberry with a little bit smelling a little bit of the leaves on it, that's what fresh picked strawberry is. It is realistic, juicy, plump strawberry. This is one of my favorite ones to blend with. It blends like a dream. It's beautiful. This is a good one you need in your life. I had that downstairs. It was a trig tart and I just used it up because strawberry goes with a lot of things. This next one is Cali Comfort. Cali Comfort is also on the list. I don't, I think it's in a B bar, honestly. Uh, this is simply strawberry pound cake and marshmallow board, marshmallow boardwalk clouds, which I absolutely love. Marshmallow boardwalk clouds has um, magnolia in it and some other creamy marshmallow fragrance, uh, just a, 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 be a beautiful, it's almost, can't describe it. Um, it just is something, once you've smelled it, you can identify it in any blend it's in because it just has a presence. I like this. Um, this, to me, is dominantly Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. A little bit of the strawberry pound cake is there, not too much, but this is just a nice, relaxing, feminine blend. I had this going uh, one night before bed. Uh, this next one, oh, I have a couple other vendors in here. I'll do those last. Today is October 3rd. Talked about that one already. This one, um, if you've been shopping with L3 for a while, you've probably have tried this one out. It has Sugar Cookie Royale is dominant in it with a little bit of Palo Santo and then a creamy marshmallow. That's a fantastic one too. Watermelon Sugar High. This one I actually used um, yesterday. Um, a lot of my customs, um, my, my last round of customs were offered. Um, what, the one with watermelon sugar high, watermelon cake, and I think fresh picked strawberry. That was a custom of mine. I don't remember what I called it though. I haven't gotten my customs yet. They're going to be shipping next week. Um, this is, this is, 
watermelon and strawberry mixed together, which is watermelon sugar high. And this is, I, I warmed this one because I knew I had a, I knew I had this sample and I really wanted to see that I want to use this oil in one of my customs. So that's why I warmed this baby up. Um, it has a beautiful balance of strawberry and watermelon. The watermelon is a little bit more dominant and creamier in this case, but you want it to be because it's watermelon and it, it's sugary and sweetness. So that's that one. Next, this was one of Tam's customs. This is Mac Apple, Cotton Candy, Salty Sierra, and Toasted Marshmallow. I warmed this one because Tam was talking about it a lot, and I thought, you know, I'll go ahead and throw it in and see what it does. This is a beautiful combination. Tam loves her Salty Sierra and her Cotton Candy. I would say a lot of her blends have Cotton Candy in it. She really likes that sweetness. I like Cotton Candy blended with things. It's a little bit too sweet for me to, to warm it alone. Um, I really got a beautiful balance in this one of that Mac Apple, that Salty Sierra coming in there just to bring everything together. A little bit of the sweetness from the cotton candy and Toasted Mallow is there just to make it a little bit creamier. This was a great blend that performed well. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit different because you don't really think about apples and cotton candy together and, and Salty Sierra, give this one a try. If you like if you like snow cones by the sea from Teddy Bees or any, I have, I did a dupe of that one too from my last customs order. It was um, watermelon, salty sea air, snow white's downfall, and black cherry. That one was on the list yesterday. If you liked those types of blends where it's salty sea air and fruit, you would like this one here. Um, next is cherry frosted zucchini bread. I had this going the same time that I had my zucchini bread blends going. I took a day off from Teddy B's and I warmed some L3. So um, this is this is nice. It's I wouldn't quite call it cherry pie filling or maraschino cherry. It's just a, a regular cherry with a little bit of buttercream in there and zucchini bread. I like this. It has come back several times. Um, I have a couple more varieties of this in my collection, and it's a good one. I, I do like cherry and zucchini bread. This was also downstairs in my in my kitchen drawer. This is roasted pine cones. This is similar to Palo Santo, except it's pine, but it's creamy, woodsy, that blends with just about anything. Roasted pine cone has been having a moment for the last several months, so a long moment, but this is a really great blend. This is on a lot of blends, uh, or maybe not a lot, but a, a few blends on the L3 custom, excuse me, L3 pre-order list for next week. Uh, roasted pine cones. I absolutely love it. You guys know I've used that one before. And the last one, uh, this one I just had one shape left in and I wondered what am I hanging on to this for? This was uh, another one of my customs from the past. This is Cocoa Puffs, Rice Krispies, Salted Pretzel Milkshake, Kolaches, and Marshmallow Fluff. This was the blend I called Augustus Gloop from Willy Wonka. Um, what I love about this one is the kolaches and the caramel, the, the caramel pretzel milkshake or pretzel, yeah, salted pretzel milkshake, excuse me. Um, the cocoa puffs, everything just is one giant creamy chocolate confection. And why I picked cocoa puffs, I really don't care for chocolate and wax, but I had a blend with cocoa puffs and I thought, you know, that's good because it has a little bit of sweetness to it. I wouldn't quite call it bakery, but it is a little bit, it's a little bit more appetizing to smell it in wax uh, than some other chocolate blends I've had. So that's why I use this one, um, that oil in this one. This is really good. The kolaches just makes it a heavy bakery. And this one, I, I really like that one a lot. The last two vendors here, this is lavender and speckles, vanilla sugar pine cones. This is just roasted pine cones and warm vanilla sugar. So just have those two married together and you have this one here. This was the sample from the pine cone sampler that Beth offered a few pre-orders ago. And this last one here is a vendor I haven't talked about in a few years, but I made an order with her back in April. Um, and I didn't do the haul video yet. It's on deck to, to be done. I, I've, you know, got behind the last month of my life or so. Um, so I'm going to be filming that video. But this is a Scented Adventure, also known as Gigi's Scented Adventures. Gigi is Gisette Mason. She um, 
is from Kissimmee, Florida. Gigi has been in business since 2021. She started out as Gigi Scented Adventures and then changed uh, her name to A Scented Adventure. Um, Gigi is such a sweet lady. Um, she has had some struggles this year, having some hand and elbow surgeries. She's had to recuperate. She has to go back in for some more, but she's really pouring her heart out and you can tell she she absolutely loves home fragrance. Uh, Gigi's a very classy lady. She loves candles. She loves perfumes, high class, uh, luxury niche. All those all of those ones like Tom Ford's and uh, Burrito and all of the higher class ones. Gigi has in her collection. This is simply Marshmallow Fireside. She calls it Fireside Marshmallows. I haven't bought from Gigi in a few years, not because I don't like her wax or I, you know, didn't like how it performed. Her wax performs absolutely beautifully. I just didn't buy from some vendors for a period of time. I had, I concentrated on the ones that I, I just absolutely were enamored with. And I felt, I felt bad not buying from, from Gigi for quite some time. I have shared it with friends. I've given it to coworkers. I, I really have, have, I've loved her wax enough to pass it on in my life. So now I made a small order. I bought nine loaves and a couple of breakaway bar, or snap bars, I should say. Um, and she has some really good house blends. She has a lot of single oils. She opens up at the beginning of the month or the end of the month for a few days for her pre-order. Um, and then I think she announced recently that her next pre-order is going to be around the beginning of July, July 4th-ish, somewhere around there. So check it out if you haven't, um, haven't heard of a scented adventure or um you know wanted to take the plunge and buy give it a try um this is just marshmallow fireside this performs beautifully it's smoky sweet marshmallows most of us have had marshmallow fireside it's originally a bath and body works blend but this one just is it's beautiful okay now the main event teddy bees owned by tiffany smith from houston texas Tiffany recently had her pre-order a couple of weeks ago, actually, and had to close it on Saturday. We are just buying the hell out of her stuff. She usually tries to leave her uh, pre-order open from Friday to Sunday, but now she's closing it. She closed it Saturday afternoon, and I was standing in TJ Maxx when I put my order in. And I was so distracted that I forgot the forget-me-nots, but I went in and I made three orders because... By the time I remembered the forget-me-nots, I had already placed my second order and I went in for a third because some of the forget-me-nots were sold out by that time because, like I've said, um, I wait till the last minute to put my order in with Teddy Bees, but I have to change that now and get it in that day it opens because, you know, she always opens on a Friday evening. And then with Saturday, Marty and I, you know, it being summertime, we're going to Costco, we're shopping. We didn't go this weekend, though, because we're going out of town next week, but... Um, I've just, I've got to start doing it when it opens and uh, that's okay. I mean, it is what it is and I would rather not miss it than miss it. So, okay. No particular order. I've got quite a few to go through, including a tub. That's a lot, a lot guys. Okay. Let's do the tub first. This is one I talked about. The last week or so before the pre-order opened, this is Mrs. Teddy Bear. This was on the pre-order list, and actually this was one that I forgot to put on my original order, which is what prompted me to make my second order. This is a blend of Teddy Bear Biscuits and Cherry Pie Filling. Teddy Bear Biscuits is a warm beignets, powdered sugar dipped in whipped cream. I think that's what Teddy Bear Biscuits is. And the cherry pie filling is the star in this because this is not like any other cherry that y'all have smelled before. This really smells like opening up a, a can of cherry pie filling and just smelling it and really the richness and deepness of that cherry with the creamy, sugary lusciousness that cherry pie filling is. So this is one that I personally... It's, it's not a strong performer for me, but I love the blend enough. And, and I did say this in the group, which prompted Tiffany to say something must have happened with this batch because this was poured last March, 2023. In the past, this has been a really, really good performer for people. And some people have noticed that it's weaker. This, this, this batch, it hasn't been offered since this time. Um, 
and I said, I, I, I love the blend enough to keep buying it and use it just in a smaller space because it really is a wonderful creamy cherry bakery. So if you guys grab this one, I hope you really enjoy it. Um, Mrs. Teddy Bear. Next, Catacomb of the Witch. This was a souffle. I use mostly souffles. There were some that I didn't, I didn't get through some. If you watched my chop and chat, you know that I overestimate how much I'm going to get through, but I think I used quite a lot, quite a lot up this month. Um, and I was, um, I was talking to Charity actually several weeks ago and I told her, you know, I, you know, I'm, I think she saw one of my posts in Teddy Bee's group and she said, I don't know if I can do a whole month of Teddy Bee's. I don't want to run out of stuff. And I, and I said, well, you know, I need to make a dent in my collection. I have so much Teddy Bee's and what really got me into doing a, a vendor specific month is because I, I need the room and I want to really warm these scents and enjoy them because we pay good money for these things. And I really wanted to accent my life. So, um, now, the month I'm doing now, I'm warming Dessas and Lavender and Speckles simultaneously. So I'm getting through, um, you know, double the fun. Catacomb of the Witch. This was one that was offered last fall. This is Dark Plums, Rich Vanilla, Black Amber, Bonfire Bliss, and Vanilla Woods. Any blend that Tiffany offers that has plum in it, I will be there for it and I will buy it because plum, her plum is a sexy plum. Not sexy as in, you know, seductive or anything like that. It's just an attractive, addictive plum. And it gives a little bit of something that other oils don't give you, in my opinion. Blended with the vanilla and the woods and the bonfire bliss, this really gives a spooky vibe. And a lot of the blends I do have are a lot of fall and winter blends from Teddy Bees. And I and I have been I have been warming a lot of them. Even though it is it was May and even though it is warmer outside, I don't mind that because this is one when this is offered again, I will certainly pick this back up because this performed well in my hot plate warmers, it performed well in my tea light warmers, and this is one I just thought this is a really nice fragrance for fall time. Next, Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. I have another souffle of this in my collection. This is warm gingerbread cookies, cinnamon sugar pastries, fluffy waffles covered in powdered sugar with hints of cedar and Fraser fir. So it's the best of both worlds. You have your pumpkin pecan waffles, you have your furs and your trees, and you have your gingerbread. I mean, this is everything that is quintessential traditional around Christmas time. I love this. When this first warms, you can smell that waffle. It wouldn't necessarily say it's pumpkin pecan waffle, but you smell almost like a gingerbread waffle bakery. And then you have that Fraser fur that comes in and it just, it's, it's, it's Christmassy. It, it really is. And I absolutely love this one. I was sad when I finished this one, but then I remembered I have another one in my collection. So this one will be nice. Christmas is coming. Next, Key West Lime Ice Cream and Cake. This was a newer one. This was from March of this year. Um, and I did warm some of the newer blends that I got earlier this year from, from Tiffany. Uh, this is one of those. This is described as the best key limes in Florida, blended with the creamiest vanilla ice cream, toasty graham crackers, and a side of rich white cake and salty sea air. Lots going on, but in a nutshell, this is a great non-vomit lime. I say non-vomit because you know I'm a husband. If you watch me enough, I've talked about that in line with him. This is very creamy. The addition of that cake and graham cracker and vanilla ice cream makes this a luscious, creamy, super creamy, I should say, key lime. And it's it's not, it's 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 true key lime. It doesn't really have I'm I'm making ginger lime chicken for dinner and I have to let it marinate all day long. And I was zesting limes and juicing limes earlier today. And it doesn't this doesn't smell like 
the limes that we buy in the grocery store really this is truly the key lime it's a richer different type of lime but it's super creamy i have to emphasize that because this is it's really good i loved this one it does have the bakery aspect to it i didn't get too much salty sierra but i liked that one she offered a few lime blends uh, when these were on pre-order and i went with that one because i thought that's the one that my husband might like the most and um he didn't comment that it stunk, so I think it's okay. This next one is The Perfect Holiday. The Perfect Holiday. Uh, this is her uh, dupe of The Perfect Christmas from Bath & Body Works, one of my favorite holiday scents. This is Fresh Cut Pine, Cinnamon Sugar, and Toasted Marshmallow. This was from 2022. Um, so far, um, Teddy Bear is from 2023, 2023, 23, and 24. So I've been trying to really also use up my scents from 2022. That's when I started shopping with Tiffany. Um, and I want to just, you know, use up the old ones and just, you know, keep that space open for new ones coming in. So this one, I, I will say, is a beautiful, almost exact dupe for Perfect Christmas. I love this. And if you've smelled a Perfect Christmas, it's just the perfect combination. And I really feel it's because you can throw cinnamon, sugar, pine, and marshmallow together, and it's not going to smell like a Perfect Christmas. I really think it's the type of cinnamon, sugar, that ratio, that really makes that blend. Um, I have so many perfect Christmas candles in my collection. I always will have it. And I wore, I, I used a candle a couple of months ago I talked about. Um, I throw one in all year long. I love it. It just, it's comforting. It smells like Christmas time. It's not quite up at the old school Christmas tier that makes me cry because of the, what it makes me feel. I've talked about that one when old school Christmas was offered last time. But a perfect holiday, I hope, this one comes back on the next pre-order for the fall and the winter scents because this one is really, really good. And it's not too piney. It's not too cinnamony. It is a perfect creamy combination. I love that scent. Blackberry Boardwalk. This one, I will say I was disappointed in this one. I bought this one because of uh, this was from 2023 last summer. Um, Several of you that requested this say, oh, it hasn't been poured in years. It's fantastic. And what attracted me to this is beach nights is in it or beach treats, which is what Tiffany calls her beach nights. This is beach treats, lavender, blackberry, and plumeria. And I thought, ooh, plumeria, not used that much, but it's a crazy, strong, beautiful, tropical floral. Blackberry is there and the beach treats. I thought this would be fantastic. This did not perform well for me in either of my warmers, hot plate or tea light. This just, I could smell, I couldn't smell lavender at all. I could smell a little bit of, a little bit of blackberry, a little bit of beach treats, but not much of plumeria. And I was disappointed in this one. Um, would I buy this again? No, but I also try as much as I can to buy every scent she offers with beach treats in it because I do like Tiffany's beach treats. It's one of the best ones out there. This one just fell flat for me. Um, and I'm sad because I really had high hopes for that one. This next one is London Fog. This one was offered in the, in the last pre-order that just closed. This is Earl Grey Tea lavender milk and a hint of boardwalk marshmallow this one is beautiful it's not the craziest strongest thrower for me at least it's more of a delicate mid to moderate throw this was perfect for nighttime bedtime relaxation i had this going in the morning in the bathroom when i was taking my shower um, what you smell in here is you have a little bit of that earl gray tea with a creamy lavender I wouldn't quite call it milk to my nose, but it's just, I believe lavender milk is lavender that's steeped in milk uh, or, or the milk after lavender has been steeped in it, I should say. So you get a creamy lavender and then boardwalk marshmallow clouds, just a hint of it in there. This is a beautiful blend. I didn't repurchase this because I wanted to try one of the new blends that I haven't had before. Old Country Store. This is one from 2023. This one was actually poured on our anniversary, October 13th. So <laughs> a 
Old Country Store. This I warmed exclusively downstairs in my kitchen open concept area. I love scents like this. This is described as sweet peach preserves, hot apple pies, warm cinnamon, and a slight hint of pine. So basically you walk into a country or craft store, which they don't have a lot of those out here in Utah where I live, but where I'm from in Pennsylvania, antique shops, flea markets, craft stores, country. I love that. I grew up with that. I, I, this, so this is a, this is a very nostalgic, comforting fragrance to me. This really smells like you're walking into an old like country store, apples, peaches, just that, just that Americana nostalgic vibe. I love this. I would buy this again. Um, I wish it was a little bit stronger than it was, but this also could perform well in a smaller space to really get those scents going, but I wanted to use it downstairs because it's more of a, I don't want to call it a kitchen blend, but it's its more of an open space blend, I think. I know that kind of might be contradict, contradicting each other, but that's what I wanted to use it in, and I like it. I would buy it again. Next, Morning Cup of Christmas. I have another one of these in my collection. This one is from 2023. Yes, this is vanilla chai, cranberry chutney, apple marmalade, and a hint of fresh pine. So this one is super good. If you like cranberry chutney, which is sweetened cranberry with a little bit of orange in it, just a little hint of pine, a little bit of spice, that's what this is. This one, um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I've smelled anything like this before, but it's it's cranberry heavy, sweet cranberry heavy at that. Uh, so I, I like this one. It performed well. It's a good performer. It has apple in it too. So apple and cranberry go well together. It's got a little bit of citrus in it and a hint of pine, like I said. This is one I like. I, and I'm, I'm glad I have another one of these in my, in my collection. I will use this one at Christmas time. Next, oh boy, this was a big one that was offered last time. This is Snow Cones by the Sea. Several of us talked this one up and uh, voted it and got it on the, on the pre-order list. Uh, this is Watermelon, Black Cherry, Juicy Apple, and Salty Sierra. So this is one, I love this. Uh, somebody commented, I, I posted this picture in the Teddy Bees group, and somebody commented that she just smells Salty Sierra with it. Whereas my nose picks the watermelon and the cherry and the apple with a little sprinkle of salt in it. If you like, if you like salt on your watermelon, if you're one of those people that do that, and you can imagine putting salt on an apple and kind of having a little salad like that, that's basically what this is. I love this because it is, the salty sea air is, is, there it's not it's not non-existent it's there but it's so fruity and creamy at the forefront that that salty sea air just just amplifies the fruitiness of it i hope that makes sense i love this blend um i don't have any more of it i use this up because i wanted to ex i wanted it's a summertime scent it's snow cones by the sea i love that one next we have Let's see here. The North. The North. This is part of the Game of Thrones collection. There were a lot of the Game of Thrones scents offered last time. I think the North was one of those. I think. I don't remember. The North. Uh, this is Vanilla Balsam, Palo Santo, Marshmallow Fireside, and a hint of Smoldering Firewood. So I have been on a quest in uh, Tiffany's Palo Santo or Game of Thrones uh, collection to really find the one I like the best. This one is one of those. There's another one in here. I think I finished it up. When we get to it, I'll, I'll tell you if it is or not. Um, I think, I think, no, but, no, I have a little bit of it left. I didn't finish it. I'm sorry. It's, um, oh man, what is the name? It's the one that has lavender in it. La, uh, the three, three eyed Raven, three eyed Raven that was offered and I bought more of it. That's, that's my top favorite game of Thrones scent that has the Palo Santo darker vibes to it. This one I really like because you can smell the firewood. You can smell the creamy woodsiness and the sweetness from the marshmallow fireside. You can get a little bit of Palo Santo. Palo Santo isn't um, 
Tiffany's Palo Santo oil is a little bit smoother to it. So it's, it's more of a graceful presence to my nose, in my opinion, um, in her blends. Whereas other vendors, definitely it's super dominant or masculine. Some of you described it like that. Um, the Vanilla Balsam is just a creamy, sweet, woodsy that's to it. This is a great blend for a great reason. I hope you guys tried this one out if you were on the fence with it because this is perfect for winter time. When I was warming this, I thought, man, this would be just great in the winter time. Not necessarily Christmas time, but just when it's cold out or even fall segueing into winter time. That's the north. Next. Witches be crazy for pistachio. This was one of the first ones I used up. I don't, I didn't cut a lot of bakery um, with Teddy Bees because I really, I don't have a ton of bakery. I, I do have some, but I just wanted to get through some of these um, uh, fall ones because also I know that the next pre-order that comes up, it's going to be fall and winter heavy. So this can help everyone out if they watch this video with blends to request or ones to try or you know just my opinion of a scent you've already smelled before uh, which is be crazy for pistachio which is be crazy plain was offered last time I did not buy any because I have two two to two or three tubs and a loaf of it plain and I thought I don't need I'm going to try something new um I sucked in my guns too this is birthday cake, pecan waffle, sugar cookie dough, and cinnamon spiced vanilla. That's Witches Be Crazy. My favorite hands down bakery blend from any vendor is Witches Be Crazy, my top blend. And the pistachio part of this is pistachio ice cream and notes of pistachio dream cake. So I have had one of Tiffany's pistachio blends in the past. Um, it's uh, pistachio dream, nope, um, uh, what was it? It was one I really wasn't impressed with because it didn't smell like pistachio. Uh, pistachio sugar cookies. I can't remember. It was a couple of years ago. I wanted to try this one because pistachio ice cream is a nice creamy pistachio. It's a nutty, true pistachio. And the pistachio dream cake can just be in addition to this. I didn't get much of the pistachio part of this blend. It was just witches be crazy, which, you know, I'm not complaining about. But I got this one to really see what the pistachio was going to do with with this next, this other blend. I asked Desi at the beginning of, um, I asked Desi at the beginning of this pre, the pre-order when this was offered, which was, this was poured on November 1st of last year. So, so that pre-order. If this pistachio, these oils were different, then I think it was pistachio, pistachio dream, pistachio circus cookies, some, that blend. And she said these are different than that oil. So I tried this one, but I've, I've come to the conclusion that Teddy B's pistachio just isn't for me. I love pistachio. I've been yapping about pistachio since I started my channel a while ago. I love pistachio. It's been in my life since I was a kid. I'm trying to find a way to make pistachio ice cream the way I can have it right now, and it's tough, uh, but I'm working on it. I love pistachios, and I, it's just a beautiful, almondy, just comforting, comforting flavor to me. Um, this blend wasn't terrible, but I also wanted more of a pistachio presence from it. Next is Weekend with Papa, or Papa. This is a roasted pine cone blend. This is Salty Sea Air, Vanilla Bee Noel, and Toasted Marshmallows, which is her blend called Sadie. And it's blended with roasted, uh, excuse me, um, yeah, yes, roasted, roasted pine cones. So once again, that creamy, beautiful, woodsy, piney presence that roasted pine cones has, blended with Salty Sea Air, Toasted Marshmallows. The roasted pine cone is dominant in this, and I just got a nice, sweet, and creamy roasted pine cone blend. I really like this blend. I actually warmed this back when it was still cold in the beginning of May, when my husband and I went up to Idaho near Yellowstone for the weekend. Um, I warmed this when I got home because it was snowy and stuff so that's that one this next one is satsumas and linen this is 
Sats from 7-13-22. Satsumas and linen. I don't care for Satsuma. When I bought this, I didn't know that. It's just, it's a little bit too BOE to my nose. Satsuma is like a tangerine orange uh, oil. This is described as Satsuma mandarins, bergamot, exotic fruits, and fresh linen. I warmed this because I had a little bit left of it, and it wasn't really enough to put it in ass wax package. I just, I warmed this, and it's just, it's it's creamy, and it's orange, and it's everything a mandarin should be. It's it's not that it, it doesn't hit that mark. It's just, it's not my favorite type of oil. I didn't get too much linen. I didn't get any bergamot. It was just so Satsuma. Satsuma is strong. It takes over a blend, but um, I know this one's popular because a lot of you guys out there do like Satsuma. Next, this is one of her newer blends, and it has been so popular. This is anything but basic. Anything but basic. I bought this uh, souffle, and then in the ready to ship, which I didn't do a video for, um, I got this in a tub because it's a beautiful fragrance. This one is vanilla cotton candy, lychee, sparkling champagne, orange blossom, neroli, sandalwood, and amber. I really, I, I think this is, um, there's a lychee perfume out. Um, I don't remember the fragrance house that makes it, but um, I, I think that um, Scandalous Cosmetics, also previously known as Wet Dreams Body Boutique, I think Stacy has a, a, a lychee perfume that's similar to this. So I think um, this one, it, it's, it's beautiful. It's unlike anything I've smelled before and it I can't really identify I can't pick out the cotton candy I can't pick out the lychee it just everything is together in one beautiful expensive smelling fragrance so that's I'll leave this at that um this is one that you kind of have to smell to to see what it smells like I can't put this one into words but I, I really like that one next is Tiff's favorite bakery this is one that's been, this is, this is just the regular blend, but then it's been blended with a ton of stuff since. This is blackberry jam, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar, and waffle cone. So what this one was like to me is um, blackberry jam butter cookies with extra bakery creaminess from that waffle cone. I liked this one. I warmed it exclusively downstairs in my kitchen area, and it was a nice creamy blackberry jam butter cookie. Nothing really crazy special about this blend, but it also is great blended with other things. I've had, I can't remember some of the blends I've had with this in it before, um, but Tiff's favorite bakery, I think she's had it, um, I don't remember. I'm not going to try to guess either. That one is good. This next one is one of my favorites. Favorite fall from last year. This is sugared chestnuts and apple butter. I don't remember if this one was offered last pre-order or not, but this one is apple butter, brown sugar, toasted chestnuts, cloves, and notes of spice. This one is a super creamy chestnut fall comforting beautiful scent and some some of you guys love this some of you guys haven't really cared for it but this was from this pre-order from from last fall this was my favorite blend in that whole entire pre-order because this just it's creamy fresh apple butter and a little bit of sugar a little bit of chestnut it's just if you are an apple person and you like apple blends this is a perfect apple butter it just it's just smells like just smells so good. And that chestnut was a perfect addition to it because chestnut is a unique nut. It adds a little bit of creaminess to the blend, in my opinion, um, and a little bit of spice, not too much. This is fantastic. I love that one. Next, Sweet Halloween. This was a surprise one for me that I loved so much that I got a tub of it in the ready to ship. This is candy corn, vanilla cupcakes, and sweet vanilla frosting. Now, I'm not a candy corn person. I don't care for it in my life to eat, and I really, I wasn't crazy about it in, in wax. But I tried, because I've seen a lot of people talk about Sweet Halloween and how her candy cane oil is great, and I thought, you know, I'll try a souffle of it. I smelled it, and it's the most 
gorgeous blend of buttery vanilla cupcakes with frosting that you could ever want to smell. It doesn't smell weird to me. I don't remember quite what some of you guys have commented on in the Teddy Bees group, uh, what it smells like to you. Um, I can't remember what you guys said, but I don't get any, any of that. Nothing, nothing off put in this scent. It's buttery, creamy, rich vanilla cupcakes. I like this blend a lot. Sweet Halloween. Next is Petrichor. Now, Petrichor is one that I can smell through the bag because it's so strong. You just need a little piece of it because it's so strong. Petrichor is the scent of wet earth after the rain. This one is from February of 23. Now, this one, it smells like wet earth, wet potting soil. Um, I planted some geraniums. They're struggling because when I bought my plants, there was a cold that came in and it kind of stunted their growth at first. But now that it's in the 90s, they're starting to grow and they're loving it now. So I hope, I hope that they, that they come back. But why I'm telling you that is when I was transplanting them from the little, you know, the little packs I got at Costco into the, into the pots I have them in, the potting soil and especially after watering them that first time, that smell of the that wet earth. And I love that. This is not for everybody, but I think those of you that have smelled this really like it, especially those of you that requested this one to come back. I don't think it was on the pre-order last time. I don't remember it being there. Um, earth, uh, earth was another one that was requested. I haven't smelled earth. I was probably similar to this one, but Petrichor. I have another, um, I think, souffle or maybe a tub of that one. I like that blend. Modern Farmhouse. This one was one I've been hanging on to for a while. I just had a few pieces in the bottom, so I used this one up. This one is from February of 2022. This is Tonka and Oud, Vanilla Birch, and Egyptian Amber. So this one is one you either like it or you don't. This is a very a unique smelling one because it has, it has um, Egyptian amber, which is a strong, sometimes polarizing. It kind of can be a little stinky to people, but I love amber. I love tonka and oud. I love everything about this scent. It's very strong. It lasts all day long. You just need a little piece of it. And it, it just, it's, it's something different that isn't something you can smell every day, in my opinion. I do have another... Uh, souffle of this. I picked it up the last time it was offered. Modern Farmhouse. Getting down to the end here. This next one is Tiff's favorite birthday cake, milk cookies, and zucchini bread. So Tiff's favorite birthday cake um, is Tiff's favorite lavender blended with white cake and buttercream. That's Tiff's favorite birthday cake. I think the lavender in it is coconut milk and lavender, I think. Um, the milk and cookies, um, man, it's a creamy, rich cookie with buttercream frosting, a little bit of sugar milk to it. it. Milk and cookies is a fantastic blend. And then you have zucchini bread in there. I really, really liked this. It has a lot of, um, everything in it I love. I love the lavender. I love milk and cookies. I love zucchini bread. This was creamy, rich bakery goodness, pow in your face, creamy bakery. Um, that's a long sentence, but I use this exclusively downstairs in my kitchen. I use this up within a couple of days. I love this blend. It's so good. Next, pink zucchini cake pops. This one is a fun one. This is what, this was my second souffle of this. I'm all out of this blend now. Um, this one is zucchini bread, vanilla cake pops, strawberry cake, and pink sugar frosting. This one was basically strawberry buttercream frosting with a little bit of zucchini bread. Not spicy, not really, it, it's creamy cake. It really isn't your traditional zucchini bread in this one. If you like Strawberry Lover's Dream, which I absolutely do, I have a loaf of that, which I'm hoarding. I need to, I need to use it, but I'm just hanging on to it. Strawberry lover's dream. I love it. Um, the pink sugar frosting. I don't really smell pink sugar perfumey per se. This is a nice strawberry creamy rich bakery blend. Pink zucchini cake pops. That's a great one. Witches be crazy for blueberries. Now this one is fantastic. I have several, I think I have a tub of this and I have two more souffles of this, I think. I bought this in a D stash a while ago, too. 
This is Witches Be Crazy, but with blueberry. And this is creamy, rich, luscious, authentic, fantastic blueberry. I love blueberry blends. My husband does too. But something about a blueberry bakery blend is just so comforting to me. And that Witches Be Crazy is the, is the perfect vessel to just blend blueberry with. So not vessel, perfect um, medium blend, whatever you want to call it. That's... That's so good. Milk cookies and zucchini bread, which was similar to the one that I just talked about, but it's not with the Tiff's favorite birthday cake. That's that one there. I think I talked about that one pretty much. Hot pie. Hot pie. This one, I think, uh, this I don't think this one was offered last time in the Game of Thrones line because I think it was in the pre-order previous two. This is Palo Santo, sugared donuts, a hint of chai, and a dash of pink chiffon. So this one is kind of tough to describe, but what I smell in this is pink chiffon with a little bit of chai spices and then Palo Santo. I don't get too much of the donut part of it. I wouldn't quite call this one a super bakery one. It kind of is dipping its toe in the bakery world, but it's more a chai. It's a very unique blend. This is one you have to smell and, you know, make your determination from there. I'm not going to try to butcher that one. A couple more. I Heart Vanilla Pear. This one was from earlier this year too. Her I Heart Vanilla is the base blend and then the Vanilla Pear is the, is the, the blender with it. So I Heart Vanilla is Creamy Vanilla Marshmallow, Vanilla Milkshake, and Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, which she calls marshmallows and magnolia because there is magnolia in that oil. Um, and then she blends it with sweet pear and sugar nectar. I love this one too. I bought a tub of this and they're ready to ship. This is just a great sweet pear blend. I love Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. And I thought pear with that would just be so juicy and bright and season appropriate. Springtime, summertime, fall time, you name it, you can warm this. It's nice and juicy pear, authentic pear and um, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. This next one is Milk and Cookies with Beach Treats. This one is an older one of mine from 2022. So Milk and Cookies is creamy vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, and buttery cookie dough. And then her Beach Treats. This one is offered a lot. Her Milk and Cookies blends are offered a lot. Her Beach Treat blends are offered a lot. I love these two together. I mean, if you guys have smelled these together, you know what I'm talking about. This is just, it, it's perfect. Milk and Cookies is a fantastic blend. As is this next one, Surfside Sweet Shop. I love this blend, love this blend. I, I believe I bought a tub in this last time, when it, last time it was offered last time. I should have bought a loaf. Maybe I bought a loaf. I don't think I did though. I think I got a tub. I don't remember. But this one is so damn good. This is birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach nights. I mean, this is heavy bakery, the most beautiful balance of beach nights or beach treats that this is one of my favorite beach nights um, blends that Tiffany offers. You can get the cake, you get the batter, you get creamy, just luscious beach treats. Surfside Sweet Shop, it's so good, so good. And finally, at one hour and 17 minutes, this last one when this was offered, that pre-order where this one was offered, March of 23, this was my favorite blend of that whole pre-order. This is Midnight Rosewood. I love this blend so much. It's so sophisticated, so mysterious, classy, all those things. This is Tonka Bean, Rosewood, Black Amber, Tea Petals, and Cedar. It's complicated, but as I said, it's mysterious. It's classy. It's sophisticated. It's a little bit of everything. It's kind of like, ooh, what is that scent? It smells so good. It's tough to describe, but I love this. Love this blend so much. I have I have a tub of this, maybe two tubs of this. Um, the... The rosewood is there, the cedar's there, the tea is there. This is just a gorgeous, beautiful scent. So, whoo, 
got through it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this empties. I will be filming my next empties at the end of June when I finish up my month of Dessas and Lavender and Speckles. So um, stay tuned for more fun content coming on my channel. Um, if you haven't um, noticed the last community post I made, I am doing a low carb um, recipe cooking group uh, on Facebook. I, I made the group because of the journey that I'm on in my life. If you're interested in joining that to see cooking videos and tips and tricks and all that, just join the group on Facebook. I um, made a post a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm going to try to put cooking videos on this channel, but I need to, as I've said before, get a different camera set up for actually during the cooking process. So uh, that's what's coming up. I'm going to do my skincare video that I've been talking about for six months. I, I just have to do it. I have a lot I need to film. I got behind at the beginning of the year and then behind most recently, but I have... Um, I'm going to be doing some de-stashing coming up. So if you see a post from me coming up, um, I, I do have, um, I'm, I'm going out of town, like I said, but I am going to be posting that in the next couple of weeks. I have my Lavender and Speckles customs I just submitted. So that order will be coming here in the next month. Uh, Lavender and Speckles, the Roadshow pre-order from um, Beth and Erica and Travis. I have my Glitterati pre-order to film. I have several L3 videos to film, not to mention the uh, pre-order breakdown uh, one last hurrah list I'm planning on probably doing tomorrow. So hope you guys have a beautiful weekend and week ahead, and I'll see you soon.